Alright, so let's begin. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. For today's video, I will be spilling out my skincare secrets. If you want to know what my skincare secrets are, just keep on watching. Alright, so before heading to what my skincare secrets are, I will tell you a little bit of background of what my skin was before before I felt it got better. Growing up, I had troubled skin. I had pimples all over my forehead and they were not little. I mean, they were a lot. There were a lot of them on my forehead and they just wouldn't go away. I, But I've never tried anything when I was a kid to fix them because I don't really know how. But they were really troubling me and I felt that my confidence was just going out the door because yes, you know, pimples and girls, we are not friends. Okay, I had pimples on my cheek areas all the time. They were not the red ones, but they were the big ones that you can't really see the pimple head and they will just be there. They were so painful and they were, yes. So I have oily combination acne prone skin. So yes, that is the background of this face right here. That's what I have. And through time, I have learned how my skin works and now I do know and my first skincare secret would be is number one always double cleanse emphasize on the word double double cleanse I always double cleanse I don't really wear makeup every day because I don't need to when I go to work I just come as is to work I just usually um, put on a little bit of sunscreen or sometimes if I'm feeling a little bit glam on that day I would put a little bit of BB cream but that's it Still, at the end of the day, you know, you have to wash your face, but I always double cleanse. So I will show you some of the items that I use and before washing my face, I would cleanse it with this one. It's a, the Pond's Cold Cleanser. I've seen this one before with my mom's stuff. I don't even know what it was, but I just saw it. And um, at the end of the day, I always double cleanse. Whether I have makeup or not, I do it. So first would be this step and then I would remove it with a cotton pad right here. That's also made of cotton pads. And then of course your face would still feel oily because you know it's a balm type. After that, I would get either a makeup wipe, which this is the one that I'm currently using. It's from Mumuso. Yes, I would get a makeup wipe to wipe off all the excess that the cotton pad has not removed. Or if I don't have a makeup wipe with me, I would get, you know, a micellar water, which is the one I'm using right here. So skincare secret number one is double cleanse. If I have makeup, makeup on, I triple cleanse, meaning I do all of that. Literally, everything should be gone at the end of the day. Emphasis on that, double cleanse. Skincare secret number two would come as a surprise because it's something I don't think other girls don't really do don't really do. But if you do, please tell me down below. We're sisters. <laughs> um I don't apply my toner ever with a cotton pad. I don't apply my cotton ever with cotton pad. Ever since year 2009 when I discovered Lush. Lush was actually my first type of toner that I just spray on my oh, face. I have never applied my toner using a cotton pad ever since year 2010. And what I do is I put it in a spray bottle right like this and put it in the refrigerator so it's cold. And after I take my bath or my shower, I would go and spritz it on so that my pores would close. The one I'm using is actually from Fairs. I got this from Healthy Options. It's a witch hazel toner and it's, al it's an alcohol free toner. And so this is what I do. I just put it in the freezer, not freezer. I put it in the refrigerator and spray it on. I never apply my toner with a cotton pad. Skincare secret number three is always take a bath or wash your face with warm water. Warm water opens your pores and when your pores are open, everything that has been stuck in your pores will just easily come off. If it's summer now that you are, you know, it's hot and you just want to have a refreshing bath, I still do it. After that, I would wash my face with cold water. 
yes, cold water, and then boom. But I make sure I open my pores, clean them out, and then close it later with cold water. Skincare secret number three. My skincare secret number four is mask regularly. Yes, ever since I have discovered masking, um, you know, mud masking, and also using sheet masks, I have discovered that my skin has gotten better. Definitely better. I mask every two or three times a week depending on the needs of my skin and I make sure that I choose the right mask for the specific problem that I am currently having on that day. Your skin will thank you for masking regularly. And I have been doing that all the time. I am a mask girl. Secret number five is something that I eat on a regular basis. I take this, girls, every day. No fail. And I have been doing this for a year now. I have seen the difference for my skin and it is. Take probiotics. Yes, I do take probiotics regularly. What do you mean by probiotics? Probiotics are actually good bacteria as you have known. Okay, Kabachan. No matter how much you take care of your skin outside, there will still be effect on the food you eat. Inside, you have to be clean too. Probiotics will clean your gut. It will cleanse out all the toxins that you have taken, you know, that you have eaten the, the previous day before. If I don't take yogurt at night, I would take one of these. These are not expensive, girls. To this day, every day if I can, which I do, I have to no fail, I would go and consume this. So, go and buy Yakult now. I'm, I'm really serious though. That is one of my skincare secrets. I have noticed that my skin has gotten better because of that. And it's just amazing. Thumbs up to that. First tip is double cleanse. Second tip is that don't apply your toner with cotton pad. Tip number three is take a bath with warm water and make sure to douse your skin with cold water later. Tip number four is mask regularly. And tip number five is take probiotics regularly. So that's it. My skincare secrets are very, very simple. Actually, they're almost pretty much free. You can do it at home. Definitely, you can do it at home. And you don't really need to spend thousands and thousands of pesos on stuff that actually don't really work. Taking care of your skin starts from understanding what your skin type is and what skincare you should be doing and making sure at the end of the day your face is clean and that you have a good diet.